Hey, it's Kim at Geranium Lake Flowers and welcome to our YouTube channel. It's everything flowers and anything creative and cool and fun that you can do yourselves. Be sure to subscribe and hit that alert bell. I love doing that. Today, we're gonna take an ordinary wreath, you know, kind of sometimes those boring ones that you might get at the big box retailer. Um, this one is actually pretty, pretty, but we're gonna transform this puppy into something amazing and cool and everyone's gonna rave. Um, so you can kind of see this has a mixed greenery. So I'm just gonna add some more kind of berries and texture. Um, then I'm gonna add some decor and it's gonna be so easy, you're gonna love it. So the first thing is I'm probably gonna take this, <laughs> I call this roadkill bow. Like, you know, it looks like it's been run over. So I'm gonna take this ribbon off and uh, this one is actually pretty nice. It has some juniper berries in it already and some boxwood and some fir, some noble fir, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some more juniper berries. Do you guys, it smells so good. It's like having a gin and tonic, <laughs> it's so good. Um, so, you know, it has a lot of little texture things. So, um, and then just so you know, when you go ahead and add this extra decor, give it a fresh cut, and then that way it can kind of slide in these bundles. It looks like this wreath was made with one of those clamp machines, and so you just have to stick it in the little teeth. Um, I love magnolia, so I'm gonna stick some magnolia in there. And another thing I do, you guys, is I do everything in odd numbers. So this is a round wreath, and I'm gonna kind of do magnolia here, here, and here. So three groupings, does that make sense? And uh, I'm gonna kind of make this one a little bit more on the natural end. And you can already see that it's just looking so awesome. We use these leaves for name tags at weddings. They're so fun. And sometimes we even use the back because the brown is so pretty. Um, I have some little clusters of pine cones that I already wired. So I am going to, uh, use those. Again, I'm using green wire. This is pretty easy to get anywhere, really. Um, but like a craft store, uh, if you want to go to your local craft store, that would be awesome too. And then it's just pretty easy. I am just spinning it around. Again, I'm going to put, I don't know, I might just do two sets because I have this adorable nest. I know, I'm gonna put this little nest on and I'm gonna fill it with apples and nuts. And uh, one of my customers said that, please don't put any apples on my wreath because the deer eat the apples. So I guess that's one thing so uh, not to use the apples, but this is looking pretty, right? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some apples in. Um, I'm gonna use the glue gun. You can wire it, but I don't like to pierce the skin because once you pierce it, it um, doesn't last as long. So you just kind of uh, hold it for like 10 seconds and it should be great. And I like to put it with the stem up. And these are little tiny apples. I put some glue on here. I'm gonna put um, another apple right here. I forgot to mention how to uh, make these little pine cones into a family of three. <laughs> um, so you can, you can wire them individually and just kind of fit it in like this and spin this around and then do that. Or you can kind of uh, weave the wire in their little cone things and uh, make a little family and just spin it around. It works really good. Can you guys see that? And then that way, uh, then you can take the family of pine cones. I think I'm actually not gonna put them right here. I'm gonna try this nest. What do you guys think? It looks so good. So before I put the nest, I was gonna think about putting it right here. I'm gonna fill it up with some decor, right? So I'm gonna fill it up with some nuts and some more la la uh, lady apples. And I'm just going to put a, a small layer of glue down there. Remember, this hot glue uh, dries fast, so you got to kind of work quickly. I've got some filberts and some almonds and some pecans. So cute. <laughs> I know. 
Uh, I guess if you have a lot of squirrels in your neighborhood and they're still out and about, then maybe the nuts wouldn't work. But you could always use this bird. Check this out. He's a little clip-on bird with uh, that's gold and glittered and has earmuffs. <laughs> I know, I love Christmas just for all these little funny things. So I might put him on afterwards, but um, yeah, I'll do that. So check this out. I'm gonna wire this guy. So this is kind of a basket that I got for $5 somewhere. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and weave the wire in this basket and then go ahead and wrap the wire all the way around and you kind of want the right angle because you want when uh, you walk up to your door to have that basket kind of spilling out oh I forgot we have holly so you can wear gloves to um, work with the holly because it does have a lot of thorns I am just going to up the gloves and I picked this out of the box earlier today and uh, so as long as you don't touch the leaves I think you're fine but this variegated Oregon holly looks so amazing this came from a farm called Peter Quartz and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back here and tuck him in there again I'm gonna press with my finger for like five seconds one two three four five <laughs> and uh, just make sure he's really in there and again I'm gonna put a little glue daub you can put your glue on your plant material or you can put it actually in the wreath um, sometimes you just have to be careful that you press down and don't burn yourself because I have this glue gun to the very hot setting if that makes sense and again, back to my kind of groups of three, except for my pine cones, you can kind of see that I have holly, holly. So I think I feel like I need holly right here. And I think he can tuck underneath there. That looks great. I do have some um, different berries, the really pretty. This is kind of big for this wreath. These are ilex berries. So I'm going to pick, uh, these red berries and they're kind of have an orange color but they I think they'll look really good with a contrast of the red on the apples and um, I'm gonna go ahead and just stick those underneath here and maybe over here and you can kind of tell I'm just doing my thing like slam and jam and then I'm thinking it might be kind of nice to have an ornament or two just for that shiny, like that, that texture. I don't know. I have all these balls right here. Is there anything that looks good to you guys? <laughs> I'm thinking this one because I like the shape. It's so different. So I am going to go ahead and wire this on. Sometimes I do glue these ornaments on just because where should it go? I think it should go down here. I don't know. What do you think, you guys? I think it looks good right there. So on this one I'm wiring, I could put a little bit of glue. And then, you know, these little spider web glue things? <laughs> so I really pull those off and make sure that they're good. I feel like I need another little red thing up here. So I think I'm going to look in my magic ball. <laughs> Ooh, this looks kind of fake, but I kind of like it. It's like a weird topiary cranberry ball. So I think I will add that and I could maybe even use, well, let's see. Okay. I'm going to cut off this ribbon and I'm going to wire this guy on. Are you guys all ready for Christmas? <laughs> I know it's not even Thanksgiving yet. So I am going to put a lot of glue on this puppy. You can kind of see that I'm pumping it probably like five to eight times. And then while I'm talking here, I'm just going to hold this. And then we teach a lot of wreath classes here. This year we're teaching um, Zoom wreath classes, but we all agreed today as we were talking about this, that the people, most of our students are so 
stressed out about the bow. <laughs> so I'm gonna make the bow several times because it seems like people just have a block. So we tend to use, this is the ribbon that came on the bow, on the wreath. We tend to use like a two inch, at least, um, I think, yeah, this is all two inch wired ribbon. So this one happens to be double-sided and it has wires, little tiny wires you can see on the edge. So it really works good when you want to shape it and make it into these kind of big fluffy loops, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to do about an arm length and a half, and that will give you a nice bow. I cut it at an angle and then I'm ready, right? Okay, here we go. Bow 101. <laughs> so again, two, one and a half arm lengths, right? And you're gonna get your rib, your wire. And this is the tail, right? So this is my tail right here. So then I'm scrunching it in my hand and I make one boot, bow loop. I almost said boob. <laughs> and then another loop, another loop, and another loop. And you can kind of see that it looks pretty good. And the cool thing about this uh, ribbon is that you can kind of mold it, right? And then you just go ahead and pinch it really tight and then twist your wire. And then just so you know, this wire is probably 12 inches long, maybe 15 and see how it looks kind of bad right now, but as long as you fluff it out, it looks great. Sometimes people, I think where they get hung up is they want to make a bow like they tie their shoe. <laughs> so like the center and then the two loops, and you don't have to do that. You can just, you know, keep going. I'm gonna make one more for you guys, um, and I'm gonna make it a little longer. I'm gonna do two lengths of ribbon, two arm lengths, and um, so this particular ribbon has a front and a back. This one was kind of double-sided or the back looks just like the front. So when you have a ribbon that has a backside, you're just gonna flip it in your hand. Do you see what I'm doing? So you just flip it like that. So the front of the bow, the material is on the outside. So you just keep making your loops because you want the pretty side out. You keep making them. And this one, a lot of times there's that old school, they call them florist bows, but they're more like this where it's just fluffy, right? Um, and they look good too. So this is a super fluffy bow. And again, I'm putting the wire there and twisting it. And then I will fluff it up. We kind of make these bows sometimes and then store them on hangers. Yeah, so check that out. That's more of a florist bow. You could even double it up and put two ribbons, two bows together if you really like <laughs> the ribbon. So this, I don't know, this looks pretty fantastic, right? Yes, we did it! We transformed that wreath, that boring, well, maybe not boring, that plain wreath into this! I know, so cool. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you for the next video. And please subscribe, click the alert bell, and uh, follow us. Okay, bye.